driven by a 143 mile an hour wind. The worst tropical hurricane since 1928 sweeps in from the Caribbean Keys to lash both coasts of Florida in a howling frenzy that causes $50 million damage. Miami's waterfront, playground, and residential areas are whipped by the terrific winds. Scenes are reminiscent of the fierce storms of 1926, when over 300 died, and of 1928, the worst disaster, when 2,000 lost their lives. But now, hurricane-proof buildings stand up to the storm's strongest gusts. The ocean is literally in Miami's front yard and Florida's picturesque palms are torn to shreds as the hurricane reaches its peak, shattering acres of plate glass in Miami's swank shops. The destructive winds batter public utilities and drive pedestrians to storm-proof shelters. Motorists caught in the blow struggle desperately to reach a safe haven. Communications and crops suffered heavily as the storm ravaged all South Florida before sweeping out to sea. As night closed in, the storm tore across the Biscayne Bay region, reaching its climax before midnight. In the midst of the storm, disaster piled upon disaster. A raging fire broke out in a furniture factory, and firemen fought all during the night to bring it under control. Other nearby factories caught the blaze, and Miami's northwest skies were lighted by the flames that swept through these buildings, fanned by the terrific winds. Daylight revealed the extent of the damage caused by the velocity of the tearing winds that crashed the length of the peninsula. Palm-lined streets were a mass of twisted fronds and fallen trunks. The tune is gone with the wind, the citizens making the best of what they saved from the wreckage. But the greatest loss of all was suffered at the huge naval blimp base at Richmond, 30 miles from the city, which was swept by fire. 366 planes and 25 Navy blimps were destroyed. The loss here was almost $40 million, only part of the toll exacted by nature's unbridled fury.